Welcome to Stories from the NNI. I'm Lisa Friederserf, Director of the National Nanotechnology Coordination Office. In this snippet taken from our earlier conversation, Gerhard Klimek highlights the importance of interdisciplinarity in nanoscience and nanotechnology. Nanotechnology naturally sits at the intersection of a, a vast array of disciplines. What are your thoughts on the importance of collaboration and interdisciplinarity for, for the work that you do? Personally, I always felt the really exciting stuff is in the gray area between the disciplines, right? I'm a straight electrical engineer by fundamental training, and I, I dove into deep physics of quantum transport within electrical engineering. And so, so early on in my career, I had to straddle physics and electrical engineering. And as I moved into computing, I began to embrace computer science. So I'm, I'm sitting square between three different disciplines in, in what I've been doing. You know, when you write grants these days, you have to list your collaborators of the last four years to, to declare potential conflict of interest. And I have like 150 people on that list. So, so, so that's... reviewers are hard to find for your, for your, uh, <laughs> your proposals. Yeah. So it's, um, I love it. Right. And it's in many continents, right? North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, different specialties. Um, I work with mechanical engineers and physics, chemistry, material science. I mentioned computer science, different organizations, universities, national labs, industry. I mean, that's where the exciting stuff is. Can you share something you've learned that is really far out from your training? You mentioned you work with, well, your background in electrical engineering, physics, I think computation, but, but outside of those areas, biology, medicine, have you had interactions where you just walked away saying, wow, that was really neat. Well, we're interacting now more with nanobio researchers through Indiana University. But to me personally, the most eye-opening and redirection of research has been on analytics and people behavior. How do people use simulation? And I mean, we have now data sets where we begin to understand how users migrate through this, say, virtual world of a simulation do they take careful steps or do they jump around in that space i like it to like um, hiking through grand canyon are you going to jump off cliffs and to the from the south to the north or are you going to find careful paths right so we begin to study such user behavior at least consider guiding users through recommendations and then guiding the faculty members that might have directed the students, and then correlating that to scaffolding material. So to me, the, the analytics piece, the big data, quote unquote, is, is really exciting. And that is to me new that I, look, I'm an electrical engineering faculty member and I draw social network charts, right? I mean, this is pretty cool stuff. This snippet is part of our longer conversation that was released as a full Stories from the NNI podcast. I encourage you to listen to that too.